Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition for the Nintendo Switch. And last episode we completed our first level. Of course a whole bunch of bad guys attacked the Hyrule Castle and took Zelda. And now we are moving on to our next one, but first it wants me to check out the bazaar, which is pretty cool. Uh, ooh, strengthen your warriors here. First, select the warrior you'd like to take to the bazaar. I, oh wow, there's a whole bunch of characters too. I guess this sort of gives us a chance to look at all the characters. There's Link, Impa, Sheik, Lana, Zelda, Ganondorf, whoa, really? Uh, Darunia, Ruto, Agitha, Midna, Zant, Fi, Fi, Giraheim, Girahim, uh, Sia, Volga, Wiz, Wizro, <laughs> I like that name, and Linkle. I didn't know Linkle was an actual character. Huh, well we're just gonna go and bring Link because he's a character we do know how to play and have played and I'm sure we're gonna be playing more soon. At the badge market, you can craft special badges for your warriors to grant them unique enhancements. Okay. <laughs> hey listen, badge market. Creating badges for your warriors at the badge market will help improve their battle abilities. The bonuses granted by the badge apply only to the warrior from whom it was created. Creating badges requires both rupees and specific materials, but the benefits they add to warriors can be immensely helpful in battle. Interesting. Um, all badges are divided into the attack, defense, and assist categories. Go ahead and select the defense category first. Sure. The glowing spaces indicate badges that can be crafted. Go ahead and make a badge with the material and rupees you've collected. Okay, so right now we only have old rags. We need one out of the 13 that we have. It's empty bottle one allows a warrior to use a potion once per battle. Sure, I don't know how you're making a, a bottle out of an old rag, but I'm not here to complain, I'm here to get benefits. Uh, you have created empty bottle one. With the empty bottle one badge, warriors will be able to use potions during battles. There are other shops that can improve your warriors as well, so be sure to check them out. I will. So we have some other stuff as well, but it looks like I don't have any of the materials for any of it yet, so we'll have to head back later. When it comes to these other badges, we have the Kokiri Sword 1, a new combo attack for Hylian Sword. It is BBB, BBB, B. Wow, interesting. So let's go ahead and get that, Kokiri Sword 1. Um, when it comes to the other upgrades, you've created Kokiri Sword 1. Uh, regular attacks, BBB, 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 combo attacks, BY. And then I guess there's Y, 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 and then strong attack. There's just Y. Interesting. Now when it comes to this other stuff, once again, we can't access because we don't have certain materials. And then finally, our assist badge. Uh, Feroar's Wind 1. Slightly speeds up the process of taking keeps. Uh, metal plate, we have two of those, so we can go ahead and do this. And we also have plenty of rupees for it. We got a lot of rupees, it seems. You have created Feroar's Wind 1. Cool, so there's some bonuses for Link. Um, there's also the Training Dojo, uses rupees to level up. Um, training Dojo. You can spend rupees at the Training Dojo to help your warriors level up. However, you will not be able to raise their lower levels beyond that of a current of the current highest level warrior. So I can't level Link up anymore right now. The higher the, the warrior's level, the more rupees it will cost to train the warrior. It's more useful to use the Training Dojo to grow low level warriors. Okay, so I can't really do anything for you. Uh, good to know though. And then we have the Apothecary. Uh, apothecary. Visit the apothe Apothecary to create a mixture for the next battle. The effects can be powerful, but very temporary. Furthermore, for warriors who have crafted an empty bottle badge, the Apothecary will provide restorative potions for every battle free of charge. As you defeat more gold sculptulas, you'll be able to create more varieties of mixtures and stock up more types of potions. Plus, their effects will become stronger. Cool. So we could make like a bonus, right? Or no, we would need a lot more materials it seems. Okay, material needed 20. So we don't have the materials we need for that. Okay, well, good to know. And then the smithy, wait, what is the smithy? Fuse and sell weapons, we can't do that one just yet, even though we got a lot of weapons before. Well, there's the bazaar. You are now able to increase Zelda's repertoire of attack actions. Try creating the Kakiri Sword 1 attack badge. For Zelda? Okay. I mean, sure, I don't mind leveling those kind of characters up as well. So, yeah, we have enough to do it for both Zelda and Link, I suppose. Okay, so now she has a new, like, times two combo attack. Uh, new combo attack for the Rapier, uh, which is BYY. Okay, cool. And we also have an empty bottle for her. 
very cool. Maybe I just do this for all the characters I think I'll be playing soon. I mean, especially the empty bottle. I don't think I can really afford too much more. But uh, I'll do that really quickly with Impa as much as I can. Like, I don't have any metal plates. I do have plenty of old rags, so I can go ahead and make a bottle for her. Um, and then for the assist badge, I can't, I can't do that. Okay, then I think we've done everything we can for all of the characters. And it looks like, yeah, we can also sort of have a description. Prologue, the armies of ruin. I don't know what the hearts next to Link are supposed to mean, but I've gotten the gold sculpture, which could have gotten, been gotten by anyone. Um, playable warriors, Link, and there's a little thumbs up next to it. Huh, weird. And then, I guess maybe there's more things I could have done there, like defeat it on easy and hard. I just don't know what the hearts are. Maybe you could find heart pieces. Weird. Um, but now we're gonna be moving on to the next scenario in the prologue, the Sheikah Tribesmen. Looks like we're playing as both Impa and Link, which is very cool. And we have, of course, a gold sculpture that can be found by anybody. It's in Elden Caves. Recommended is whatever that symbol means. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, I see, it's her weapon type. So Impa here is level four. She has a lot of hearts, and then she has a giant blade, which has sort of that windy thing. So we're probably gonna be playing a lot of her, but I guess I can select a warrior. I don't know if they both show up, and then we can select her blade. So we're probably gonna try to stick with a level an episode, especially if they're gonna be at least a half an hour. After an arduous battle, Link and his comrades slew King Dodongo, but the beast was only ever intended as a distraction. The army of monsters had taken Hyrule Castle, Worse, after the dust had settled, Princess Zelda was nowhere to be found. Impa and Link searched the battlefield for any sign of her, but to no avail. Although the battle had been lost, Impa foresaw Link's importance to the coming war. She bestowed upon him a green tunic, the sign of the legendary hero. Link did not believe himself worthy of the honor, but he was determined to help Impa and her remaining soldiers locate Zelda. Weeks passed. Impa heard a rumor that a handful of soldiers were holding out against the monsters in Farron Woods. The leader of this resistance was supposedly a young woman. Impa dared to hope that this unknown woman was Zelda. Link and Impa decided to make their way to the forest by way of the Elden Caves a path with its own dangers. Okay, so we're going to Elden Caves. That was so cool. I like the little loading screen slash story tidbit. That's awesome. So we can start the battle. We can get battle info, as you can see. We're playing as Impa, Link, and then a Hylian captain. I wish we could actually play as the captains. That'd be fun. Uh, current status, victory conditions, Impa and Link escape. Defeat conditions, nothing. Warrior info, we can see a little bit more info about everybody. I don't wanna to take too long with this, of course. I just wanted to poke around. Um, BGM setting. Oh, we can choose music, how interesting. All right, and our time limit is 60 minutes. I don't know if we'll actually need that much, but we're gonna find out as we head on in. We are in the Elden Caves, which of course, Elden is the place where there's a mountain of doom in Breath of the Wild, I know that much. I know some stuff, Elden Caves. It's very, very hot here, so that's why this windy sword we have uh, for Impa might be helpful. Hyrulean forces are advancing. Uh, Link is ready to help Impa. I'm sure we'll get everyone in one piece. So I definitely wanna try to break these as much as I can. Whoa, what's happening? Uh, the exit is over there, but we'll have to go all the way around the north to get it. Item power-ups. By acquiring item power-ups on the battlefield, you can gain the ability to use stronger versions of items for a short amount of time. Okay, the Hyrulean soldiers went up ahead without us. Impa, we, we have to catch up. Okay, I'll try, but I wanted to get free stuff first. There's lava blocking the way and monsters have shown up. We're gonna get wiped down. Okay, so I better help them. Look at these guys, they're little skeleton guys. Okay, the soldiers are in trouble, we have to hurry. So where is that? I mean, I'm just trying to beat up whatever we can. Mission start, so rendezvous something. <laughs> Outposts, outposts continue to spawn soldiers for the side that controls them, that's what they do. Defeating an outpost captain captures that outpost for your forces. However, if an allied captain at an outpost is defeated, enemy forces will claim that outpost instead. So it's not really, you know, do or die if we don't get all of them, but we probably want the good majority. Um, okay, still getting used to this character. So we're going to go up this way and uh, help out Link a little bit. Hiya! <laughs> Impa's so cool with her giant sword. I like it. 
Okay, so yeah, we gotta go ahead and take on this captain as much as I can, which is actually pretty easy. So far the game's been pretty easy going. So we have this area done now. We've got it opened up, unlocked, I guess, in one way or another. And what are these little green things? I guess it's an arrow thing. You have to hop down from there instead of the other way around. And then this, I can break open if I have bombs, which I can. Cool, oh, secrets! Uh, destroying the walls revealed a new path. That's cool. So yeah, I'm supposed to be going up the one way, but it doesn't seem to hurt to be going this way. Oh my gosh, look at this. Uh, rendezvous with the Hylian captain. These caves, no matter how many monsters we cut down, more keep coming. All right, well, we'll do what we can about it. Ow, ow, where do you go? Okay, so this is our like little boss we gotta defeat. There must be a keep around here that's spawning monsters. We should capture it, I am trying. Um, ooh, mission start, find the capture, uh, find and capture the monster spawning keeps. Okay, oh, here's more material. Very cool, let's break that, so that pot had some health. So that wasn't the boss, no, that's the boss. Okay, so let me try to get over to you, and then we're gonna use this, ah, oh, it's so cool, I like it. I can't wait to unlock more characters and stuff, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Okay, so we got some SP up there, so that's pretty good. Um, so this area is controlled by us now, which is great. Um, so we need to, now that we've gotten that done, move down this way, looks like. Man, there's so much information going on at any given point in time. What is this rock about? Uh, nothing. It could have been something, though. And that's why I did something. Okay, so we should probably switch over to Link soon, but I know that, you know, this character's getting some bonus by me playing because, you know, of the weapon advantage. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and start beating you up as much as I can. Where did you go? Uh, you're over here now. So let's go ahead and try this move out for size. Ooh. Ooh, where'd you go? Oh, you're right here, okay. Uh, rendezvous with the Hylian Captain, I guess, is complete. Um, I don't know what I did, but I destroyed that guy, so pretty good. Reinforcements are here, oh, thank goodness. I guess we had to hold out until then. Okay, so here's the keep boss. Honestly, a lot less threatening than the guy we just defeated. Okay, there we go. Hylian Captain's mood had approved, I guess I'd said, I don't really know. All monster spawning keeps have been captured. Very, very good, where's Link at? He is over here. Uh, if you're carrying more than one usable item, you can switch between them with the left and right. Okay. So I can go ahead and use a potion whenever I need it, which is not now. Um, cool. So yeah, these guys are all powered up because you know they're feeling good, which is great. So we need to, I can't go through this door, so it actually might be worth going as Impa. Sorry we're late, we're here to help. Well, take all the time you need if you're gonna help. Uh, that lava is stopping our progress. We need to find a way past it. Okay. Where exactly was that? Hmm, if we break those stone spires, maybe we can get across the lava. Okay, so we'll do that in just a moment. I just want to, as Impa, go down here. I can just prop down. Okay, dark forces have arrived. That's not good. I'll help out in any way I can. <laughs> Getting you into the, those caves is going to do something I can't read. Uh, Gorn Captain has done something. We'll help, rocks are no match for a good old bomb shoe. All right, I just wanna get over here as quickly as I can. Thank you. Now, why don't you, why don't we let the bomb chew do the hard part? Okay, sure. I wanna just get rid of this outpost captain as much as I can. Um, so, you right there, and then, oh, you're going down. So we're gonna escort the bomb chew. Oh, cool. Okay, so I got this one cleared up. Where is the bomb chew? Apparently over this way. There's so much going on. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. So here's the bomb chew. What in the world? <laughs> This is so silly looking. Uh, they're going after the bomb chew. I'm trying to make sure they stop doing that. Um, hey, you stop that over there. I hope I can't damage him, because I'm gonna make a whole bunch of mistakes. We have to guard the bomb chew. I am trying. Okay, keep the bomb chew safe. I will do what I can. I mean, so far, they're not really getting all too close to it, so I think we're doing a good job. Uh, how, do I, how do I move it? Can I like push it or something? Uh, big Poes are advancing forward somewhere. I mean, I can't do much about that at the moment because we're trying to you know, defend this. But yeah, I don't really don't know if there's, there's so much more I can do. Mission start, defeat the big pose. Where are the big pose? Okay, commanding multiple warriors. You can command playable warriors to march towards given destinations even when you aren't directly controlling them. Open the info screen and choose command. Then choose a warrior. Confirm their destination to set them on their way. Okay, so command. I'm gonna go ahead and send Link over here, I suppose. Um, all right, defeated 500 enemies. Wow, wait, that's pretty cool. So, wow, that's amazing. I don't know what we did. I guess defeat the 500 enemies. 
So I don't know what more I have to do to protect this thing. Oh, here it goes, it's finally starting to advance. Jeez Louise, that took a while. <laughs> Come on, ah yeah. No, that didn't really do much. I feel like Link has been better for crowd control against all of these big hordes of enemies. Maybe I should have him over here. But you know, he's off doing his own thing. Actually, I do need to move him because, no, 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 wrong buttons. Because he's over here now and I need him to be over there. Big Poe, yeah, that's what I want. Okay, good job, Link. You're figuring it out. So we have our special move ready now, which is great. Uh, oh, I see these materials over here. I wanna grab some of these. Because the materials seem to be super duper helpful. Like I'm trying to go out of my way to you know explore and grab stuff, but that also seems particularly difficult when it's just sort of enemies everywhere. Do everything as fast as you can. Which is fine, I don't have a problem with it. It's just crazy hard to get used to. Um, oh, so they took one of the crystals in the back. Um, the bomb you can't move forward until that gate is open. Okay, so maybe I should move back as Link and defeat the big pose, which are right here. So let's go for this as much as I can. Um, I'm trying to focus on him. It's not really working out very well. So there's our BBBBB combo. Um, so we defeated him, and then there's another one here. Whoa. Uh, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. See, I'm trying to do some more of those combos, and it's working out pretty well. Uh, well, when I actually get close enough to land it. Ow, ow, ow. Come on, get out of here right now. Oh, and this is like when we break their weak point, which is awesome. Mission successful, cool, and you dropped a weapon. So is this door gonna open now? I would have to imagine, but, or is it already open? I'm running the wrong way, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and take this outpost real quick then. Just because it'll make, because we gotta go through this way anyways, it seems, so I figured it'd probably be easier to handle it now. Um, so we're changing, and it looks like the bomb chew, it's over this way. It's taken a bit of a beating, unfortunately. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of who I can with this big swipe of our sword. That was pretty good. A gold skull show has appeared. Ooh, I'm gonna get that. Hold on tight, bomb chew. Okay, so that won't last for very long. Actually, it might be easier to, first off, command Impa to the bomb chew, and then as Link, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that thing, if I can. Because it looks like it's just down here, right? I mean, it can be anywhere in this area is the thing. Anywhere where the, the web is blinking, as far as I understand, which actually makes it quite difficult. So I have to look around for it. I don't know how much I like that. Okay, uh, oh, there it is? Maybe, yeah, it was under that bomb, the rock I broke earlier. Okay, cool, hiya. Nice, it seems like the music went away when we were close to it. You defeated the gold sculpture, you've collected an illustration piece. Cool, so we're gonna go ahead and command Link to, uh, I guess, make his way to the bomb chew, and then we're gonna switch over why, maybe that didn't work because I was playing as Link? I don't really know. Um, Link, go to the bomb chew. Let's see if he starts moving. I mean, it looks like he is. Okay, so we're just trying to defeat as many of these guys as we possibly can. We got the key boss right over here, so if I could just focus on you, sir. Gotcha. We're doing really well against you. Our own forces have captured the West Square. Good. This is a really cool game so far. Like I said before, it's one of the many Wii U games I missed out on that have made their way to the Nintendo Switch, which is really, really awesome. Um, earlier this month, we played Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, which was a Nintendo Switch game that has now made its way, I mean, a Wii U game that made its way to the Switch. Um, we're gonna be doing the same with Captain Toad Treasure Tracker later this year. I'm super excited for that. Oh, and it's exploding! Okay, that's all we had to do with that. Awesome. I don't know how that really worked, but Escort the bomb to the stone spire completed and it destroyed the stone spire, cool. So, we're trying to head up this way. Thank you, Impa, let's keep going. Oh, here's Link, hi Link. So Link's in different gear now. Head for the exit like, like we've been trying to do all this time. <laughs> okay, we made it. Uh-oh, maybe not quite yet. So it looks like we're getting ready for a fight. Oh. oh, who's this? It's Sheik, right? Well, hello. Whoa, look at you. The princess isn't dead. You'll re reunite with her at some point during your journey, but not quite yet. You can call me Sheik. It's a name that comes from the Sheikah tribe. They were servants of the Hyrulean royal family. The Sheikah tribe? 
That's impossible. We can talk more once we get out of this cave. For now, let me join you. Okay, absolutely. All right, so I don't know too much about Sheik. Um, so we can go ahead and play as Sheik right now, right? Or no, we can't. Oh, that's a bummer, I really wanna play as her. Or him? I don't know. <laughs> Dark Wizard has summoned more monsters. Okay. <laughs> Forward, cut them down, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going this way, and I think Sheik is up this way. I don't know, hard to tell. Uh, they're really getting fierce, aren't they? Come on, we've gotta keep moving. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, so we're getting a good amount of level ups, so we already got uh, Impa here to level six. I don't know what level uh, Link is at, but we'll worry about that in a moment. For now, I'm just trying to destroy these guys. There's Sheik, though, and there's our outpost captain that we want to take out. So let's run out over there as quickly as we can and get rid of that guy. Dude, this game was also released on the 3DS. That's sort of the interesting th thing about it, is that there was another version of this game on the Wii U, like the first version was on the Wii U, another version on the 3DS, and it, it had like a bunch of DLC and stuff, so this version is sort of like Mario Kart 8 last year, where it has all of the DLC tied in together, so it's like the finished, definitive version, what do you know, just like its name. Um, see, I don't really know too much about what we're doing, where we're going, it looks like right now, we're going this way. Maybe we could play a little bit as Link, because he's only level four right now. I haven't really played as in much this round, so he hasn't been getting too much experience, so I want to change that as much as I can. Come on, come on. So I wonder if I'll be able to start choosing what characters I want to play, or if it's always like story specific. Okay, there's another bomb chew. Hyrule enforces right at the tunnel square. Yep, that's me. Okay, the south gate, south gate of this keep leads to the exit. If we capture the keep, we might open it. Okay, so we need to go ahead and lower this um, this meter as much as we can. Come on, get rid of you right now. Just like that, and then, where are you? Okay, that was all right. That wasn't exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that, because it's really cool. Come on, you have a lot of health, sir, by the way. Come on, come on, come on. Got him. Okay, defeated Lizalfos. So there should be a boss around here now, right? Yep, here he is. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this move real quick. Ah, yeah, level up, awesome. See how quick that was? Oh, and we get a chest for that. Okay, does that always have a chance of happening? Okay, so what do we get into this chest? I like how all the action stops so we can open this. We get, whoa, a rock. You got a sealed weapon. It might be a completely new weapon, but you'll have to check it later. Oh yeah, there's a weapon inside of that rock. I see it now. Weird. Wow, that looks pretty deadly. I mean, it's covered in rocks. So which way are we going now? I mean, I can't really go too many other ways. Oh, the south gate didn't open. At least we captured the keep. Maybe we have to use this bomb chew? The wizards called summoners to places around the battlefield. Well, that's not good. Uh, the summoners are capable of spawning new units. They will continue spawning units until they are defeated, so make sure they are pri their defeat a priority. Okay, um, yeah, as long as we have the summoner, uh, we'll have all the monsters we want. So where's the summoner at? Looks like it's over here with how this is blinking. So where's that summoner at? I'm gonna take him out. Uh, there's nowhere to run, crush them, beat them, grind them to the dust, ha ha ha. Okay, so it's not over here. I guess I might have missed him. Enemies are coming out of the tunnels. Maybe some sort of spirit is in there. Okay, so find and defeat the spirit of the caves. Where exactly do we, the, defeating the spirit might open the exit. Why don't you look into the deepest tunnels? Okay, now we can go this way. Uh, the wizard called the assault troops are doing something. Assault troops. Assault troops are enemies that retreat after assaulting a target inflict, and inflicting damage. Defeat them before they arrived at their dis destination. Okay, a lot is going on now. Too slow, chase him down and commence the pincer attack. That does not sound fun. Um, assault troops are advancing in the tunnel square. Oh my gosh, I'm like running back and forth and I don't really know where to go. Um, I'll guard our rear from oncoming enemies. Don't worry, I'm prepared for anything. Okay. So I go this way? I mean, it looks like they're coming in from this path, but I can't go that way. Um, oh, Sheik's now playable. Okay, that's all I wanted. <laughs> okay, so. Stop the assault troop. There's like so much to do. Uh, missions, there are times when multiple missions will trigger at the same time. You can see what they are by checking the mission list on the info screen. Side missions are only occasionally triggered. Failing a side mission won't have any major effects on the battle, so feel free to try them out if you're feeling particularly adventurous. I always am. Okay, so the south square is about to fall. Hold on, mission list. Stop the assault troops, which are those guys over there. 
Find and defeat the spirit of the cave. So those are both the same thing? I don't know. Um, hard to tell. But we've done everything else. So if I could do anything, I wanna have him a command so that Link goes up here. I mean, he can't. So that's sort of the weird thing. What about these guys? Like maybe he can like go to this assault troop. I won't let Impa do whatever she wants. I just wanna try out Sheik for a little bit so she can play her harp almost like the opening cutscene where Zelda was playing her harp. Hmm, odd. So, oh, you know what? That little green arrow, is that Impa or is that? Yeah, that's Impa. Okay, I was gonna say, is that the spirit of the caves? Oh, the spirit of the caves has been discovered. So Impa found her. All right then. Um, let's just go for it then. Um, the ghostly guy is really suspicious. I bet he's our spirit, spirit of the caves. I'm trying to find out. Um, throw some bombs. So we'll go ahead and just use her for now because she was the closest one. Um, come on, we almost have it. There it is, there it is. Come on, ready? Gotcha. So did that take you out or you still have more health? Nope, that got you. Missing successful, awesome. So there's that done. That's the main quest, but if I move back to Sheik, which is right here, we can not quite get up there. What do I do? Tunnel Square Gate has opened. Which is where exactly? I mean, Link somehow got up here. <laughs> Guess he went the long way around. I guess Link is doing it. I really want to play as Sheik, but now's not a good time. So there are so many enemies here because they keep spawning them. Come on, come on. No, these are the assault troops. They're not the spawners. Anyways, we're gonna beat them up nonetheless. All right, guard troop appeared and is advancing towards the, the crystal cave. Uh, not my problem. Not for right now, at the least. So I've gotten rid of you, right? Looks like it. So there's one done. Is there one behind me, apparently? Uh, yes, there is. So you have like a side mission to start. I, I know, <laughs> there's so much. It's insane. Capture Crystal Cave, I am trying my best. Uh, hey, un ninja person. <laughs> is that chic? <laughs> I suppose so. So there's that part done. Trot, more stones in our way. Yeah, and that's what the, uh, the bomb shoe that's in the one area is gonna do for us. So I'm just trying to run down here. There's so many blinking things on the map. And I can't quite get up to this one, not yet. I gotta go the long way around because I guess those doors have been opened, which is a good thing. Okay, so now's our chance to play Sheik then. Because she's right here. We're just gonna move down this way and then down this way, I suppose so. So I can get this one last charger guy. Because I think that's a mission we're still doing. Um, stop the assault troops. Seems like there's two more left from what I see. Um, for now though, we'll go ahead and do this. Playing the music here sort of like stuns people around here. Find the bomb shoe, I know where it is. I just, busy, really busy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go ahead and grab this one right here. So what are we supposed to do? Just fill up the, or complete the crystal cave bar, which is where we are right now. So this is a, you know, a little side mission, I suppose. Okay, uh, almost got it. Come on, come on. Got him, so where's the boss at? You are over there. I'm gonna go ahead and keep beating everybody up until we get a full meter, because we are very close to that. She moves around like crazy, it's awesome. Side mission failed! No! Oh, that stinks, I'm trying so hard to get them all done, but it's not easy. So we get a chest out of this one as well, so let's, oh, I gotta be Link to open it? That's sort of a pain in the booty. Where is he at? He's right here. So for right now, you're beating up an assault troop. Come on, come on, we can get ya. Or not, he's just knocked out on the floor. Is he stuck? I think he's stuck. Side mission successful, capture the crystal cave. Okay, you know what, that guy's stuck, I'm just gonna leave him. Guard troop, I'll get rid of you, or, or if I can. Come on, come on, come on. All right, he's weak, we gotta get over there. Uh, this isn't working out very well. Come on, and link the video to the guard troop, cool. So I need to go down this way as quickly as I can, so I can get that chest and then go back. And I don't know what some of these other characters are doing. There's only so much I can do. We know where the bomb shoe is, so I don't know why it's telling us to find the bomb shoe. I went the wrong way. Is the chest still there? It is, okay, good. <laughs> I was getting worried about that. Um, so what is this gonna be? Something for sure. It's a heart piece, awesome! So this is maybe what we missed out on last time. You got a piece of heart. Collect four pieces to increase your maximum hearts by one. And I think that every character has the same amount of hearts. Um. Heart containers, restores all of your health and increases your maximum health by one heart. Restores all of your health. Uh, okay, collect four of these to make a new heart container to increase your maximum health by one heart. You can check information on heart containers and the pieces of heart hidden on a given battlefield from the select scenario screen. However, each will only appear when using a specific warrior. Oh, I don't know if we should go back for those. Will it be helpful? I can only imagine so. 
So we need to find the bomb chew. I know where it is, so I don't really know what more I have to do about that situation. Um, I'm just gonna send other characters there. Maybe that'll do what it, I need it to do, and then we can go as Link to other spots and figure that out. I don't know, finding the proper way to do things in this game can be a little bit challenging. Um, so there's an outpost here. Someone send, send a support. Way up there, buddy, I can't do that. We got other things to do. Come on, come on. And can we get you, can we get you? Yeah, so did we get this crystal? Looks like it, so I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna move on to this next one right over here. This guy's another outpost captain. And that was really easy. So that's why I wanna get rid of these guys real quick. Let me get some of that stuff. Okay, so I finally have a full mana for him. All right then, uh, Lizalfo's uh, forced the Hylian captain to flee. So we found the, the bomb, so I don't know what it means, find the bomb chew. I found it. What are we waiting for now? Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, I guess we, we have this now. So, is this glitched or something? I'm really confused. You're in trouble up there. Okay. Because the bomb shoe's right here, what do you mean by find it? Mission list, find the bomb shoe. Huh. And we're all just chilling out here right now. <laughs> this is beyond bizarre. Maybe if I just go and, you know, collect some of the other areas or something. That is weird, I really hope this isn't glitched or I did something wrong so it's like just locked where it is. That wouldn't make too much sense though. What if I hop down here? I, I'll have to like defeat everybody because there's nowhere else to go. Um, so where are you? Uh, mission successful, find the bomb, shoe. Okay, that's it, that's it you found. But I already had found it er earlier. What are you talking about? I must have missed something. If you guys know what I'm getting confused here, let me know. Um, Impa, do you see the bomb shoe there? That's exactly what we needed. You mean the one that everybody was, oh, this is a different bomb shoe, right down here. Okay, that's weird. That is really weird. Let's go ahead and get the key boss as much as we can. Uh, boom, that was pretty gosh darn good. Level up as well, we're level six. Okay, so, actually no, the heart pieces do not uh, jump from one character to the next. Good to keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm playing as, I wanna play as Sheik. Cause there's definitely more I can do with this character. I wanted to see her special move. Uh, what, are her, what are our other missions right now? Right now, stop the assault troops is a failure, which totally sinks. It makes me feel inadequate. Like I need to do everything over again. What area have we yet to capture? There are definitely some areas. Mission start. Playable warriors. If any of your warrior or playable warriors flee, you will lose the battle. You can check which warriors are playable by looking at the face icons in the top left corner of the screen. Even if it's not written explicitly in a scenario's lost conditions, remember that a playable warrior fleeing will always cause a loss. Okay, so how do I know? Always something in my way. I'll smash these rats myself if I have to. Maybe if they run out of health? Okay, what's happening now? What is with this ring? Oh, that is creepy. That is very, very creepy. Uh, <laughs> Twisted Wizard Wizro. Oh, this is a playable character too. Maybe we can unlock him by doing this. Um, Dark Force is advancing towards the bomb chew. I wanted to defeat the rest of this stuff though because uh, maybe there's another heart piece. I know there's one for Impa. So that'd be pretty cool to get. Um, for right now though, let's use this and see what happens. This is gonna play the harp. Whoa, that's cool. Bouncing them all around. Okay, and we get another one right away. So I could use that again, but I think I'm gonna hold on for now. Um, ow, stop. Come on, get you, get you. Okay, that did something. I'm just trying to get rid of this guy. Defeat conditions have changed. Escort the, the, the bomb shoes to the two stone spires. Don't let any bomb shoes be defeated. I am trying my best. But first off, um, I'm gonna go ahead, no, 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 go down. It takes a while to move the uh, thing. I need to command you to the one bomb shoe. And then Link, you can go to the other bomb shoe. And I'm trying to get this other stuff done. So where's the key boss? You were right here, I'm gonna go ahead and do this to you. This takes a little bit of, a bit of time, but it did defeat you nice and well. Okay, so there's this area done that didn't seem to get me anything, but it could've, it could've. Uh, protect the bomb tree from Dark Force. So we got health up, material required. Okay, so go back this way. It looks like this bomb tree needs protecting. I will gladly protect it. Come on, come on. I don't know where Wizro is though. Escort the bomb trees to the two, two stone spires. More enemies hmm, allow me to dispatch them. She's really cool, I like Sheik. Come on, come on. Uh, Sheik has captured the stock room. 
Have I? I suppose I have. All right. Nice. Okay. Um, I didn't realize that's some amazing skill. Thank you for the compliment. Um, is there a chest in this one? Doesn't appear so to me. It's always hard to tell which rooms that we have to capture and which rooms we don't. But it seems like they've sort of gotten the back areas again. Not really much I can do about that. Let's go back over here. Here's Wizro. So if I could just use this move. Oh, we're gonna tear you up with this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's great. And then we can maybe move back to. Whoa, it's exploding! Like it's supposed to. Good. Uh, so the Nether stone, stone Spire we need to break. But where's Wizro at? Okay, these are all my teammates. Um. Amazing, success on the first try. There's Wizro. so I'm gonna go over there and try to beat him up a little bit with Link. Um, well this is just Lizalfos. Let's just focus on you a little bit. Go with this, support the bomb, choose advance. I'm trying, Wizro is not being very supportive in that idea. But so far we've been doing pretty well. I just wanna try to find that last heart container for Impa, because I feel like you know the more of those we can get, the better. Uh, oh, we gotta throw a bomb at you in this situation, right? Yeah, that's it. That's where there's a bomb over his head. Um, so yeah, now we're moving over to Wizro. Come on, come on. I'm trying to catch up to you here. Got it, got it, got it, okay. Help us! Who needs help? You guys over there? Hold on, I'm trying to defeat this jerk. Um, okay, I missed you. <laughs> How awkward. Maybe I could command somebody to help you? I mean, it seems like they already are. Okay, never mind. What are our mission lists? Right now it's just the bomb tune. So I feel like defeating Wizro is gonna be our best way to do that. And it's really working, like we're, we're beating them up. Um, Come on, oh that's pretty good. Come on, he's so close to being defeated. There we go, you defeated Wizro! Awesome! So there's a couple things left to do, I'm sure. First off, here's the, the bomb shoe, which is doing, you know, it's seen better days with its health right now. It's like about halfway down. Okay, the bomb shoe is resumed advancing, that's good to know. I need to head down this way, grab that material. We've already taken this room. I'm trying to see if I can't take this crystal, but then there's other rooms that have yet to be taken. Uh, somebody send a support. I mean, I would love to, but also it might be difficult to do that. Okay, the tunnel square is about to fall. Where is that? Uh, Impa's over this way. Sheik, where are you? You're over here. See, I don't know what the blue bar under the character means. I guess it is their health. Okay, uh, so there's a lot of enemies here. Sheik defeated Lazalfos, that's good. Come on. Oh, okay, this is doing what it's supposed to do. Keep boss, over there. Okay, what's that about? Um, well, I'm trying to do this for now, and then we'll go over there and do what we can. Come on, come on. Hey, where's the keep boss for this area? I mean, I guess, I'm not really sure. <laughs> right now, I'm just trying to defend these people. Help them out, because there's like nobody here. Uh, head for the cave exit, but I haven't found the heart piece for the one character. Um, I need it to be with Impa, which is the thing. So if we could maybe do that really quickly. Hurry up, Link, the exit is here. I know, I know. But if I could go all the way back, that one on the very bottom left, you made it through the caves. Good, but also not so good. Maybe I can't do it, great, now we have to, we can head to Farron Woods and find this woman we've been hearing about. It looks like I missed out on that heart piece then. I hope, you, I hope she's Princess Zelda. I don't know. I mean, there's no more enemies left, so you know what, I think that's it. Link, Impa, well done. If we combine our efforts, Hyrule may yet survive. So I did miss a heart piece. Maybe it was in this room back here. Looks like it might have been victory! <laughs> All right, so that's at least another level done. I was really hoping I could get that one last heart piece for Impa, but maybe next time? I don't know if I should ever try to hop back in these levels and get it done. Ooh, what's going on? Whoa. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, she's cool. Okay, I guess maybe because we beat it while playing as her, she gets her own little victory pose. The Sheikah Tribesman. Oh yeah, so I guess Sheik is a he. I read Sheik is a he. Sorry, my bad. 13,000 rupees for that. Did it in 22 minutes, but we had a full 60 minutes. Didn't feel like 20, felt like much longer than that. Weapon obtained, fire rod, a magical rod that summons fire. It attacks over a wide area, so it's perfect for bringing the heat on large groups of enemies. Very cool. And that's for Link. And then we also got a giant's knife for Impa, which she already had. Magic hammer for this dude. A scepter of time for you. 
Giant's Knife, Blue Ring, cool, and we got tons of different things there. Uh, Big Poe's Lantern, Wiz Wizro's Robe, Big Poe Necklace, the Zolfo Scale, and a bunch of Monster Teeth. And we got another piece of this, we did find that Gold Skull Jewel. Huh? Cool. You've earned 100 years of head metal, and one battle defeated 100 more enemies with special attacks. Very, very cool indeed. So there's another scenario done. The Elden Caves will be moving on the Farron Woods in the next episode, but we might as well check by our bazaar one more time before we do that, wrap up the episode with that. I like the music here. So what can we do now at the badge market? Maybe there's like better badges we can get. Yeah, we can get something down here. The Wooden Sword 1, new combo attack for the Magic Rod. So is this sort of like I have to choose one or the other? I sure hope not. Um, I don't think that's how it works. We've created Wooden Sword 1. So we have a new combo now. It's B-Y-Y-Y. See, I have both of these, cool. Can I afford anything else? No, so it'll glow yellow when I can. Speaking of which, there's plenty of stuff I can afford here. Hornet Larvae 1, or Larva. Uh, slight increase, slightly increases the healing effect from hearts picked up in battle. Allows a warrior to use a potion twice per battle. Cool. Um, slightly reduces a damage taken on fire element recommended stages. Slightly reduces the damage taken on water metal. Okay, so lots of stuff like that. Um, Sacred Shield 1. Okay, so I can't afford to do all of these. But we're, we're gonna go ahead and try to do as many as we can. Um, especially for Link, because he's gonna be the main character. We can get Mirror Shield. Interesting. This is a Sacred Shield. Okay. And then, Magic Armor. Oh, cool. So we have plenty of rupees to do this, we just don't have a ton of Lizolfo skills. So I don't know if I should be replaying these levels to earn up more materials, or if it's supposed to be something that sort of helps you as you go along. Hard to tell. That's a Goron tunic, and then we got the Hornet larva. And it all uses Lizolfo scales, so we need to defeat more Lizolfos. And then our assist badges, um, we don't have anything new for Link. But since we're 16% through bronze on the... Okay, so it really depends. 77% through all the bronze badges here. Interesting stuff. And then we can do the training dojo if we wanted to. You're already at level six though. The apothecary. Weapon drop one. So I can like prop down a bunch of stuff. I really don't know about that. The apothecary seems weird to me. Um, and then we can try to do that with other characters as well, whatever we can afford really, um, which I thought I already had gotten you an attack or a metal. No, I guess I didn't. I did that for Zelda, didn't I? Um, Okay, so for the Big Poe Necklace, we can get you a Hornet Larva. So it's different for every character. For Link, it was uh, the Zolfo Scales. So, good to know. Unfortunately, we did not get nearly as many Big Poe Necklaces as we did Lizolfo Scales, so we can only do so much there. So there's that done. When it comes to the Assist Badges, you do have something. Uh, slowly increases speed up, or uh, speeds up the process of taking keeps. That sounds like it could be very helpful. Um, for Roar's Wind again. Okay, so that seems to be all we can afford for you. If we move over to Sheik, though, badge market, attack badge, old rag, go ahead and give you the Kokiri sword so you have that move now. Awesome. And for the defense badge, we can go ahead and give you an empty bottle. Because why not? That was a monster tooth instead of a, a rag, though. So we don't have any metal plates. We need to get more of those. And then, I mean, I guess we won't be playing as Zelda for a while, I can assume. So maybe I shouldn't worry about leveling her up. Yeah, I don't know who we're gonna be playing next, so I don't know who I should be leveling up next. So maybe I should own my materials for now and wrap it up. Like I said, next episode we'll be doing Faron Woods. Hopefully we can find Zelda there. We'll be worrying about that more in the next episode of Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Sheik, so that you've watched the end, that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.